welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this little widget with you or a fixture that I whipped up in OpenSCAD. So you might remember a few episodes back, I did uh, a piece on developing this fixture for this Chuck to do coin art. Now, one of the things that uh, I do when I do coin art or cut a small circular piece like this is you have to find the center because obviously it's not square so you can't go off the corner and usually what I do is I touch off the sides and I know the diameter and I simply do the math and triangulate to the position this takes quite a bit of time to do so I wanted to come up with an easier well actually faster way to do it so that's where I whipped up this guy in uh, OpenSCAD because one of the things you see, obviously it's held in the chuck here, so I can't just simply use, um, you know, something that's completely around. So I wrote code that actually snips out the jaws uh, from a uh, an insert. So what this does is this has small ridges around here, which go around the rim of the coin. And then I have a centering hole, which is the size of the bit. Now, in OpenSCAD, I can make it. I can make different fixtures for different size coins, different size bits. So it, it's actually really pretty cool. So, kind of long story short, what I do is I then just set this on here, and it kind of snaps on. It takes a little bit of force to get on there. I put it this in PLA. I think this would probably be a better fit in uh, ABS. Uh, because ABS would flex a little bit or maybe even a little bit of PEG. Uh, but it works just fine. Now you see it's on there and what I simply do is, if I don't get my arm in the, my light, is I now just find my center. And boom, now I have it centered. So now what I can do is go into my you know G-code control program or my G-code sending program and I can set my, you know, my home position here and then just send a G0, uh, you know, Z10 to lift up the uh, uh, spindle and then remove my uh, jig or my fixture. And now I'm centered dead on this coin and I can cut my piece out. So I can whip through it pretty fast with this. So I wanted to share this tip. Now I have this code uh, out on uh, OpenSCAD and, and pretty much you'll have to run it uh, in OpenSCAD to make it the size you want. I'll put this one out there and I may put a couple other fixed sizes out there. This is actually a half a ringgit coin from Malaysia that I'm going to cut a P sign into on the CNC. So this is one of the things I really love doing coin art on the, on the uh, CNC. It does an excellent job. Uh, you know, just give you a little background. I got a 1.75 millimeter uh, uh, fluted bit in here. Uh, that's uh, aerospace leftovers, if you will. So one of the things they do is, uh, in the aerospace industry, they have to retire tools early. Uh, so you can pick them up rather cheap, and that's what I actually did with this. And I use it, uh, it's a very strong tool because it's meant to cut titanium and other stuff. So it's, it cuts this, um, whatever this alloy, this coin's made out of, actually pretty easy. So have a lot of fun with doing this. You can make a lot of neat designs, jewelry, that kind of stuff, earrings, pendants, uh, you name it. So anyways, hopefully you found this uh, interesting. And, and again, this will work for just about anything. You don't have to be using a CNC. It can be a drill press to do it, do a centering hole, uh, all kinds of stuff. So kind of handy little idea. So if you found this interesting, found it handy, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget the bell button over there. It's actually just a reminder, you need to go down, hit that bell a couple times so you get the parents, so you're notified when I put out new content. And then don't forget the swag shop up in the corner. A lot of cool swag out there for the maker community. Uh, so we'll catch you in the next video where we're probably cutting this. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our